Good evening, class. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Florida? I am fine. Thank you. I'm okay. It's hot today again. Are you hot? I I I have I have a problem with my wife. I, my okay. my my wifey. My wifey. My Wi-Fi is okay. Wi-Fi is okay. Oh, yes. Okay, thank you for telling me. Hello, Osvaldo, how okay. are you? Teacher, I, I have a question. Yes, tell me, Flora. I have a problem with the exercise 2.10. Okay. It did. What what happened? In the in the question number three, uh, the question is where did Sarah go to school? Mm -hmm. the the answer is New York City. But, but I the platform is is incorrect. You you didn't get it right. Okay, don't don't worry. We'll, we'll do that today. We'll check it today. Okay, thank you. Okay, great, thank you. Hello, Osvaldo, hello, Noe, Alexandra, how are you? Hi, man, Josue. Fine, thank you. Hi, guys, I'm pretty good. What about you? All right, you sound happy today. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> hey, good. I'm hey. happy, yes. What about you, Josue? How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. How is life treating you, sir? I'm sorry? How is life treating you? Uh, nice, teacher. Um, the business is good. My okay. business. You are the IT man, correct? Sorry? You are the IT man. No, my business is about uh, um, beauty supplier. Oh yes, beauty supplies, I'm sorry. Uh, but there's somebody in this class that sells um, hard drives, USBs, memories. Yeah. You sell beauty supplies, correct? Yes. For women and men, or just for and, women? And, and currently, just for women, just for, for girls. Okay, and what do you sell, like shampoos? Yeah, makeup, uh, creams. Oh, nice. And, yeah. That's and interesting. Yes. Uh, that's new for me, the, the, but I have the business for my, my girlfriend. Oh, okay. So yeah. do you have a special place or you just sell um, online? Just online. Okay. It's online. And we have a, a page on Facebook. Uh, what is comments. okay? What is the name of your page? Ale Beauty is the name of the page on Ale, Facebook. Ale Beauty. Yeah. I imagine Ale is your girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. I, if 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 the if, we have a partner that are interested and in that's good. We can follow the, the page. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to follow it in this moment yeah. because my wife frequent, frequently buys. Oh, okay, that's uh, nice. Uh, yeah, beauty supplies. We have delivery in many many departments 
Okay, great. You said Andre Beauty. I'm sorry. Can you give me the, the again the um the web page? Ale Beauty. Ale Beauty. Yeah. Let me see. Is is a woman in the in the page? No, it, it's the name and the color are um, pink. Pink and, and I don't know how we say morado. Purple. Purple, yeah. Simply Purple. beauty shop? No. No. Wait. Hmm, let me see. Ale Beauty. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah, nice. Okay, I see. Ale Beauty. And then it's purple and purple. Yeah, <laughs> purple and pink. Purple and pink. Okay, good. I'm going to put like. Okay, I just like. Okay, thanks. All right, cool. Um, here, let me put it for so then the class can see. Okay. Yeah, that's my page. That's your page then. Okay, class. Beauty, look. Who is this man? I don't know. <laughs> he looks like Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. Okay, so how is the A hey, Davis good man? Hello, David. We can't hear you. Maybe you have a problem with your microphone. Hello, class. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. I, I, I'm sorry. Thank you. I hear total silence. Oh, uh -oh I lost them. <laughs> okay, good. Um, today we're going to, I'm going to share a screen with you. Uh, is the pronunciation of the letter O? Okay, is the pronunciation of the letter O? Okay. And then we're going to watch a video. So, um, Hold on, I'm going to share the screen with you. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, yes, I do. Yes. Okay, uh, now tell me if you hear the sound. Can you hear it? Oh, I can. No. Here's the. So it should be here somewhere. Last time it, it didn't give me a problem. The what, letter a, o. what about now? Part A. Listen. And yes. Practice. Yes, it sounds okay, good. Great. Notice how All right, good. Let me. Okay. Um. This is. This is very short. It's just the pronunciation of the letter O. And um, let's just listen to it. Hi. Let's work on your pronunciation now. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. 
Pronunciation. The letter O. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Not. Top. No. Don't. Do. Food. One. Love. Remember to play the audio program as many times as you need to. It is important for you to notice the difference in pronunciation. We want you to practice a little bit more, so pronounce the following words. Did you get it? Work with me. Lock, hot. Own, wrote. Soon, who. Come, done. Good job. Okay, did you see that? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, this is yes. just pretty, it's pretty much the pronunciation of the letter O. And um, I'll be honest with you, you can pronounce it Oscar, Oscar, it's all right, no problem. Just when you see two O's together, they sound like ooh. That would be the only difference. Okay. Yeah, but then the rest is okay. All right, um, listen to what it says here. It says, in this class, participants will be able to listen and practice a conversation between people asking and giving information. Participants will also identify the passive with by. Okay. Um, pay attention to the passive voice and tell me what you hear, okay? And tell me if you hear, please. If you don't hear, tell me. No. Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a... Hi, are you Can ready to listen to the conversation? This time yes, we but need two people asking yes. and giving information. Very well. you can they do so by using the voice, pool. but this time in simple present. Try to identify the sentences. I will underline them for you as soon as the conversation is over. That better? Conversation. I need some information. Part A. Listen yes. and practice. Hello? Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union? I think the euro is used in most of the EU. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh? Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Hi, are you ready to listen to the conversation? This time we will listen to people asking and giving information. They do so. Were you able to do it before I did? Nice. Now I want you to answer the following question. What three things does the man ask about the European Union? Write your answers on our discussion box. Did you write the three, did you hear the three things he asked? Yes, uh, one was the currency yes. in the European uh, Union. Okay. The second one. He asking about was the, the, is English spoke much more or about the Euro, European Union. Okay, and there was another one. If they accept credit yes. cards everywhere. Okay, one more. He asked about the, the languages. Actually, he asked about the currency. Do you know what is the currency? Yes, I know. Yes. What is the currency of Guatemala? Quetzal. The currency of Guatemala is Quetzal. Okay. The currency of um, Nicaragua? 
Córdoba. Córdoba. Colones is um, Costa Rica, right? About Costa Rica. Yes. yes. Okay. And we are dollars. dollars. Okay. So let's see. Let's see if we got it right. Hi. Are you ready to listen to the conversation? This time we will listen to two people asking and giving. Uh -oh. European Union. Let's hear the conversation I again. Sorry. I don't know. Pick up. You need to refresh the page. Nobody answered. You have to re refresh the page, teacher. Okay, let me refresh it. Let's see again. Hi, are you ready to listen to the conversation? This time we will listen to two people asking and giving information. They do so by using passive voice, but this time in simple present. Try to identify by the sentences. I will underline them for you as soon as the conversation is over. Conversation. I need some information. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union? I think the euro is used in most of the EU. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh? Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Were you able to do it before I did? Nice. Now I want you to answer the following question. What three things does the man ask about the European Union? Write your answers on our discussion box. Okay, so we covered that, correct? And the three things he asks, and if you notice, he asked those three things in passive voice. Okay? Hello? Okay. For example, he says, the objective here is, remember we told you, I told you that in active and passive voice, we have a subject and an object? Yes. yes. Okay. Here, mm -hmm. here we're not we're not mentioning because we're not mentioning the subject because for two reasons. One is logical who the subject is, or two is not important. For example, the man asked, "What currency is used in Europe?" That's passive, correct? Yes. Yeah, because the grammatically would be, what currency is used by people in Europe? You know, but it's not necessary here to say people. So we just say, hey, what currency is used in Europe? Okay. Okay. So okay. Um, the objective of this lesson, what we're going to practice today, is of course the passive voice, but we're not giving importance to the subject. In fact, sometimes the subject is not mentioned because it's logical what the subject does. Okay, so let's listen to this. Hi, we're back again. 
Now we'll study passive voice in simple present without by. Please pay attention to the explanation, examples, and exercises. Passive without no by. No simple by. present. For the simple present, use the present of be plus past participle. Active. They use the euro in most of the European Union. Passive. The euro is used in most of the EU. Active. They speak English in many European countries. Passive. English is spoken in many European countries. Active. They manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. Passive. A lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. As we saw with the simple past, passive, we change the emphasis when we use the simple present passive. Instead of saying, they use the euro in most of the European Union, we can say the euro is used in most of the European Union. The focus changes from they to the euro, which is what we're interested in. Follow me here. I have these passive sentences to demonstrate how the by phrase is omitted here. The euro is used in most of the European Union by the people. Cars are manufactured in Europe by manufacturers. What I want you to notice is that the doer of the action in each of these sentences is obvious or not important, so the by phrase can be easily omitted. So this takes us to our structure, and because we're using simple present passive, this is what we have to work with. Is are present of be plus past participle. Can you now take a look at the following images and come up with one sentence using passive in simple present? Please write your sentence on our discussion box and ask your teacher to check it out for you. Hi. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so the objective here is not to use by because like she said on the video, it's obvious or it's not necessary to say it, correct? Yes. Yes, like the European, um, uh, the Euros are used by Europeans. Hmm. So it, it's not, you can just say uh, the Euro is used in Europe. Okay. For example, who can who can give me the short and uh, the short form for this? They use a cell phone. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. Great. Yes. They use a cell phone as uh, for a as a GPS. So they use a cell phone. No, let me check. They also use a cell phone as a GPS device. Um, maybe cell phones is is use is also used uh, uh, like a uh, GPS. Exactly. Very good. Yes. A cell phone is also used as a GPS in Waze. Remember Waze? Yes. Waze, yes, is, Waze. Waze is very oh. good. Hasta miedo, da. Nunca le ha dado miedo que lo están viendo. Yes. Interesting. Yes, it's but very it's better than Google Maps. Google Maps. Google Maps had uh, many er errors. Errors. Yes. Waze is as a ninety-eight percent. Yo trabajo en Google, pero admito que es mejor Waze. <laughs> yes. <laughs> pero miren, eh, saben que es bueno en Google Maps, pero aquí en El Salvador, lástima, no hay. Es el 3D 
que uno ya se puede meter al... Mm. al, al like the Google Earth? No. Yeah. No yes, but like, for example, let's say if you are... One day put London or something, you can actually go inside the street and inside the how the, the, the building. In El Salvador, you can't. But, mm. but this is in ways. No, in Google, Google Maps. No, Google in, Maps. In Google. Mm -hmm. No, but for directions, I prefer like ways. Well, but my case, like I'd rather uh, to, you, to use Google Maps. If you Maps. are walking on a, on a, down, on a down, down center in London. Yes, it's like you're walking. You can see everything around you. Wow, wow. Yeah, That's because really uh, they have a satellite, uh, satellites. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> but but for direction, for directions, I prefer Waze. I'd rather Google Maps. Yes, yes. It's better for me. Waze. It's easier. Right. What I like about Waze is talking to you. Uh, oh yes, the, the 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 woman the woman voice is, is really really mm -hmm. good. <laughs> One time English. Saturday, I was in my father's house in in Colonia Bello San Juan, which is in Los Planes, and I needed to go to Merliot. Oh, yes. And I asked my father, "Where is Las Colindres? Colindres? No Colinas. It's something like Los Col Colindres, Merliot." My dad said, "I don't know," so I put in ways. Colindres y empieza. En el pasaje Granada dobla a la derecha. My dad was very scared because he said, How does this machine know that we're in pasaje Granada? <laughs> I'm on this technology, dad. <laughs> so then we passed pasaje Granada en la avenida, en la avenida Barcelona a cuatro metros. And my dad was so, Mira, nos están viendo, nos están viendo. <laughs> my, my father, well, my father. <laughs> My father is 70, but in, he was, he was in, in shock, like, oh my God, how does this, how does this know? And then, you know, we were like, and then you know how it says, a 400, mm -hmm. a 400 metros, dobla la izquierda en el redondel, no sé qué. And my, my, I think, I think that's the greatest thing my father has seen. My, my husband, uh, play the ways, uh, put the ways every day just to verify that we always took the time it say there. He, he, ways say uh, 25 minutes uh, para llegar a tal lugar. He, and all day he put only for verify <laughs> the time. The time. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, I really recommend you. You know what I recommend you? I, I don't know. Does everybody have an Android phone? Yes, we suppose. Do you use Google Assistant? Yeah. Um, not really. Okay, Google. Sometimes. Google Assistant. Oh, man, that's... I really recommend you to use that application because... You don't need to do anything anymore. For example, me, every night before I go to sleep, I press Google Assistant and it says, Alarma a las cinco y media de la mañana. Perfecto. Puse tu alarma a las cinco y media. Recordarme en diez minutos. Perfecto. Oh. Te recordaré en diez minutos. Yeah, I mean, you just talk to it. Eh, pupus, eh, pupuserías. Perfecto. Estas son las pupuserías más cerca de donde estás. Have, have you ever used it? Do it tonight oh. after class. Play with it. It's very, very interesting. Yes. You can, intelligent, intelligent I will. Artificial. Yes, it's called Google Assistant. In what what Make Google life better? Yeah, what what Google Assistant does is everything you do in your phone with your fingers. Like if you need to look for a Pizza Hut number, instead of going to Google and search, so teléfono de Pizza Hut. Perfecto. Aquí tienes el teléfono. But in this, but in this case, the teacher of David Zuckerman is by us. <laughs> the what? If you use this. 
uh, I think uh, uh, Google's Google company spy us when you um, activate the, the app. Every app that exists can spy on you. Um, now remember, yes. all the apps you see in in your in your telephone. Let's say if you have an Android, all the apps you see they're not all from Google. Sometimes they are from another company. But every time, for example, um, you download, if you download. Cambiar de voz, right? An, an application that says voice change. When you want to use it, it says voice change is requesting your permission to do it. And everybody mm -hmm. just put yes, 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 yes. You are giving access to that app. To to sharing, every, to sharing videos and your contacts, photos. everything, 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 everything. Yeah. Cameras everything every time like if you buy a telephone today and you download google uh, you download um instagram for example and you want to take a picture and it's, if it's the first time you use it it will say instagram pide permiso para acceso a tu and, and everybody says yes boom you're giving access they can watch yeah. you they can watch you through the camera I don't care about the privacy because my phone is Huawei. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Um, an example, when you look someone in your phone and you look at uh, another information in, in your PC, um, the information in the phone appears in the Google, in Google Chrome, when you look someone. Oh, really? Or you, you look information, yes. Because... Um, the information of your email, you can look it in in, in both in both in both devices in both yes. devices. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you know, to me, to me, it's maybe, maybe, it's the government. It's a way for the government to control you. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a way for like the government to control you. You know, so. Especially but it's the, the Chinese the, government. Yeah. The, the, the same happened when you look some uh, some information on Facebook. Um, uh, you can see a lot of announcement or yes. a, a, a advertisement about uh, someone who sells something, for example. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. So, but you know, just don't do anything bad on your phone. That's it. <laughs> just be good. No, um, you know, I told you I work in a call center, correct? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll, before, like, 15 years ago, maybe, I used to work in Dell. Dell computers. And when we were in training with the people from the United States, they told us that when we talk on the phone, they say, please do not mention precedent, bomb, kill, um, any words that can relate to terrorism. Because the CIA of the United States, they can't, they, they can't listen to every phone call, but they have a program that if I mention Donald Trump, let's say, or if I mention bomb, it automatically, the, the system automatically records my conversation. And then they will listen to my conversation. And you know, maybe I, I said, man, that party was the bomb or, you know, hey, Donald Trump is crazy, huh? You know, but that's no problem. So they listen to it and say, oh, no, no, it's a normal call. They just mentioned Donald Trump. But if they do hear something different, like maybe I am making plans to attack somebody or something, they can listen to it. And, and 
So when we spoke on the phone, van a cortar este zoom por estar diciéndonos esas cosas. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, and for you too, it's it's okay. It's 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 legal, illegal. <laughs> you can't say those words because they will listen. And it's good. It's it's precaution. Es como en un avión. You can't say bomb in a in an airplane, in an airport. They will arrest you. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's true. They will arrest you if you say bomb in an airport. Yeah. They caught you immediately if you yes. mention that word. I work in an airport and that's oh. true. We, we oh, have okay. to notice that to the police when someone says that. Yes. Yes. So imagine that. So imagine on phone calls now, imagine on on apps maybe the apps are invented i don't know maybe the government invents the apps so they can watch you <laughs> but it's good yeah. it's yes. precaution it's precaution okay so what we're going to do right now is i'm going to mention you an object and you tell me that is used for um that is written by yes the passive voice for example um gloria navarro are you there yes hello teacher hello gloria tell me a knife a kitchen knife a kitchen knife mm-hmm so you will start is used for so you will omit the subject just go with the object the passive voice mm, I don't understand teacher okay no problem when when you eat you have a, a kitchen knife you have a fork you have a spoon correct Okay. When you eat meat, oh man, you leave la respuesta. Oh man. <laughs> okay, man. what well, tell me? Yeah. yeah, tell me the okay, tell me the answer. So a kitchen knife. Well, it's not necessarily only meat, you know. Yeah. It can be fruits and vegetables. Yes. So why, what do you use a kitchen knife for, Gloria? Um, I use a kitchen knife for eating. For eating, but there's something even more specific. Be more specific, uh, for please. Eating, for eating meat or... So can you, can you use a kitchen knife kitchen. for soup? A kitchen knife has a special purpose. For, for food. Yeah, exactly, yes. So, but don't say I. So this is what this is what I want you to say, Gloria. A kitchen knife is used to cut meats. And when I say meats, I'm saying red meat, white meat, and fish. Fish, chicken, meat. Uh, I use for prepare uh, food uh, or prepare uh, lunch. Okay, good. But just one thing. Let's not mention the subject. Just tell me the object. So a uh, kitchen knife is used for, I'm sorry, is used, used to cut. To food to cut meals. Yes, a kitchen knife is used to cut. But you said it correct, Gloria. You said, I use a kitchen knife to cut. That's correct, no problem. But what I want to practice in this lesson is not to mention the subject. Okay. Just the object, all right? Let's say foster. Foster. Yes, teacher. What's up, foster? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Teacher. All right. Let me see. A hard Sorry, I was I was cooking. Oh really? What Actually, what are you cooking? 
You're uh, cooking at this time? Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Scrambled eggs. Nice. Yeah, All right. Um, a free, oh, a hard drive. Can you give me an example of a hard drive? Uh, it's used for save your files and photos and videos. Digitally. Uh, good. Uh, digitally, exactly. All right, very good. There you go. A hard drive. Oh, it's used to save files, pictures, etc., digitally. So that, that's very good. That's a simple explanation with no complication. Oh, you can say the long one. Uh, people use a hard drive to or for, okay. Um, let me see. Foster, ask somebody, please, except Gloria. Just mention, like like I mentioned to you, a hard drive. So you, okay. you and you can say like for, and remember any verb, like for example, uh, tacos. Oh, tacos are eaten in Mexico. Oh, okay. Um, Carlos, thank you. Carlos, are you there? Hello. Yes. Hello. All right. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see. Um, a rocket ball. Rocket ball. Rocket ball. Oh, oh rocket ball. only rocket. <laughs> a racket. A racket. A racket. Ah, the racket. Oh. Yeah, that's a, a good example. Mm -hmm. That's a good example. And oh, it used to play tennis. Oh no. That's a rocket drive. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry, can you repeat, please? I'm oh, sorry. Uh, it used to uh, play tennis. Okay, good. I racket, yeah, it's used to play tennis. Nice. Carlos, ask somebody, please. Okay, uh, Luis Mesa. Luis? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Mm, a craft? A cough? A craft. Sorry, I can, I can, I can understand you. A cough. Rough. I don't know if I say coldly. Teacher? I'm sorry, repeat please. Rough. A craft. Uh, I, I am a little lost. Uh, I, I try to spell craft it. like a... Uh, Could uh, you spell it please? Yes, C-R-A-F-T. Okay. Oh, correct. Okay, half crown is half. The I'm word. Sorry. Spell it, please. Sorry, what? I'm sorry, can you spell it again, please? A C R A F T. Okay, that's a little difficult because craft is a complement of many things. And the thing here. For example, handcraft, art craft. You 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 understand? Yes. Uh, then I will. It's an ability. Uh, craft is like a, a special. It's an ability. ability yes. In, in, in a many in a many stuff. A many yes. Uh -huh. It's that word is pretty much a compliment. So can you change? Uh, and who are you asking, Carlos? To Luis Mesa. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you change? Give him another object. Okay, uh, a pencil. Oh, good. Mm. A pencil. A pencil is a. Uh, pencil used for, for write note in class. 
Okay, but don't mention pencil. So you just say, it is used to write. Okay, it is used to writing, not in class. Okay, good. Good, very, very good. Uh, ask somebody, Luis. Oh, let me see. Except Carlos um, Foster and Gloria. Okay, Daniel Ramirez. Tell me. All right. Um, a car. Uh, I don't know how to do the activity. I'm sorry, Daniel. Uh, I, I don't understand the question. Technically, it's not a question. He said a car. An automobile. Yeah. Yes. Uh, give me an example of the answer. What is a car used for? Uh, the car used for is is used for for uh, for transportation of people. Perfect. Now, just say the same. Repeat, but don't say car. So just say it is. It is used to transportation uh, people. It is used for transportation. Yes. Excellent. All right, Daniel. Thank you, uh, Luis. Daniel, ask, ask, okay. ask, ask Elizabeth. We only have two women today. Oh Elizabeth. no, three, four. Oh no, there they are the women. Okay. Five women. Ask Elizabeth. Okay. Elizabeth, uh, for what is use? Uh, what is the use of? Uh, Good. Uh, Amaka. A hammock. A hammock. A hammock. Okay. Um, a ha hammock mm -hmm. is used to rest. So it is used to rest. Okay, good. It is used to rest. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Take a nap, sleep. All right, good. Elizabeth, please ask Brenda. Brenda, um, um, uh, uh, what use um, sofa? What is a sofa used for? What's a sofa used for? Mm -hmm. It is used to see or to watch television. Good. Well, a sofa is used for many things. It is used <laughs> to watch TV. Or take to, a nap. The most common to, sleep, is watch TV. <laughs> to eat, to sleep. <laughs> All right, good. Brenda, please ask Jaime. Jaime, what a handbag is used for? What is a handbag used what for? Is a, what is a handbag used for? It is to uh, carry on uh, some things. It is used for? It is used for carry on some things. Okay, good. Good, okay, uh, your turn. Please ask Maricela. Uh, Maricela. What is used for uh, a glass used for? It is used for drink water. Okay, good. Now let me let me tell you the difference between four and two. Do you know what is the difference between four and two? That is my question for you. Okay, Just good. right now. All right. I, I I have a lot of problem with. Two. Okay, good. No, no problem. 
when we say to, it's a verb. So it, for example, in this case, drink, it's a verb, right? And used is a verb. So it is used to drink water. Yes, when you say for, you don't, you just say a noun. For example, a glass is used for water. Do you understand? Yes. When you say for, because the next the next word is not a verb. But if you're going to say a verb, you say to. Okay, but some sometimes teacher uh, can you, give you us can uh, use two. Sample, you don't put uh, two in the sentence, right? Can you give me an so, example? I don't remember, but I remember uh, that we used to when the it's a direct action, some like uh, something like that. Okay, if you so think of direct, an ex direct action, uh, what do you do? It is to drink water, or it's for water. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. that part I understand, but uh, you always, always, always used to before the verb, always. Yeah, if, if you're going to put two verbs, yes. Always. Yes. I remember. Can you give us a, a couple of, uh, another example, please? Okay, I'm going to give you one example with two and four using a cell phone. Okay. As a cell phone, right? It is used to call people. Mm. The verb is call, right? And a cell phone is also used for internet. Mm. Okay. okay. A cell phone, uh, I don't have, uh, why do you have a cell phone? Why do you have a tablet? Oh, it is used for my Facebook. <laughs> it's used for my work. Or it is used to work. Okay. So a cell phone, it is used to call people or it is used for, for a calculator, <laughs> for a album, photo album for videos, for pictures, notice camera. for a camera. Yes, you see, I'm not saying, I'm not saying verbs in that moment. So I'm saying for, but if I'm going to be more specific and use a verb, I'm going to say to. So a cell okay. phone is used to, to take a picture, to uh, look at videos, to navigate on the internet. Okay, so in this example, a glass is used to drink water or a glass is used for water. Okay. But if you think of another example, Maricela, please ask me, okay? I search it and I, I will search it and... Ask me. And I will ask you tomorrow. Uh, very good. I like that. I, I remember. I remember that I, I saw something like that. Really? Okay. Really, really, really. And the last, the last module? Mm hmm Module? I remember, yes. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow? Okay. No problem. Okay. Okay. All Thank right. You. You're welcome. Francisco, are you there? Yes, I am. Francisco. Hi. What is holy water? What is? Yes. It is used to bless people. Okay, good, yes, very good answer. It is used to bless people 
or it is used for exorcisms. <laughs> Do you remember? Remember the exorcist? Out yeah. devil, out Satan. Good. To out the devils. Yes. So it is used for for demons, or it is used to bless people. Very good. Use this. Or or demon. it is used <laughs> in the church, Catholic church. Isaac, are you there? Yes, I am, teacher. Okay, can you tell me what is a USB? Repeat, please, teacher. Sure, what is a USB? It's for, uh, it's used to save information? It is used, I'm sorry, repeat. It's used for, it, it's used to save information. Very good. Okay, very good. Can you give an example? Okay, it is used to save information. Very good. Used to save, save is a verb. Or you can say it is used for information. For information. Mm. Nice. Flor, are you there? Tell me. Um, I'm going to ask you a woman question. A woman question. Okay. Lip gloss. Lip gloss. Mm-hmm. And Josue can tell me uh, that. Too. The, uh, Josue, the I, woman, say, hey, I have one. The woman used to lip gloss um, uh, for um, all uh, events. So lip gloss, okay, very good. But I, I want you to tell me lip gloss, women, no. Just say it is used for all events. Okay. Repeat, please. Yeah. What is lip gloss? Lip gloss is um, is used for. Uh, uh, to applique, uh, um, use for the mouth? For the mouth or for the lips? For the lips. Very good. All right. Uh, okay. uh, the women use to um, lip gloss for the lips. Okay, good. But don't say the women. Only say it's used for lips, for the lips. Okay, okay. Lips gloss is for you, for lips. Good. And now okay. in this day, it's not only for women, now men use lip gloss. It's, it's right, it's right. Yeah. The, the men used to. Yes. Some men, some men, not all men. <laughs> yeah. I, I have some friends that use it's lip butter. Gloss. I'm sorry? It's butter. It's lipstick. It's a butter lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In my in my work, I remember I have I have some coworkers that use lip gloss. Oh really? Lip gloss? <laughs> All right. Yes. Let me see. Because yes. For the air condition so and dry the, the the lips. Yes, it's true. I use cacao, but cacao is lip gloss, no? Yes, it's a butter. It's butter, yeah. Uh, who has a question, Mar Maricela? No, teacher, I find it, the rule. Okay, tell me. Most use to with infinite verbs. And we use for with gerund, but 
our best, right? Okay, oh, okay, I see your point. But remember in this lesson, we're studying the simple present. Yes, yes, teacher, but I, I remember oh, okay. uh, something. So I yeah, find no, <laughs> Excellent question, no problem. Yes, yes, you can say that, you can say that. Yes. You can say for and the verb in gerund, but that that's a little bit. Um, I we will we will see that later on when we when we study gerunds. Okay. Okay. I, okay. Okay. No, but, but it's it's I, a very very good question. I like that. Good memory. No. There, there's going to be there's going to be a class because when, I don't remember. There's <laughs> the rule. No, we will have a class when I will explain to you the difference when people say, I like to play video games and I like playing video games. Okay. Um, if you okay. notice, there's an infinitive and there's a gerund. So okay. when, we will see that because I don't want to confuse the class right now. <laughs> yes, but yes, it, yes. But it's a very good. Yes, I see your point. But in this okay. case, in simple present, so two is not a verb. And I'm sorry, two is for a verb. And four is for a, four a, is no, for a no. noun. Okay, thank you. No, no problem. Very good. All right. Who has not participated? No way. Are you there? Yes, I am here. Let me see. Let me ask you a typical question. Oh, well, no. Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I watched it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh -huh. here, here, here's one. Here's one. Imagine, imagine I am from Africa, and I mm -hmm. say, "Noé, I watched it. What is that?" Um, um, it is made by. It is made by seeds. In. In. in I utilize in the food, in okay, the and some fruits like mangoes. Okay, but it's not made by; it's made from. Made from seeds. What kind of seeds? It is made from seeds. Um, I don't remember. Pumpkin. Ah, yes, pumpkin. It's true. Yeah. It's made from. Oh yeah. So I waste it. What is I waste it? How it's do you made. say? How do you say polvo? Do you know how to say polvo? Uh, dust? Mm, I don't remember. Dust. Maybe dust. No, you, it's no. powder. Powder. Up, up. Uh, powder. Or for it. food is powder. Uh -huh. Yes, for food is powder. Oh, uh, okay. Dust is like. Um, powder is milk. milk. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. powder milk. Powder milk. Okay. For soil. Seteco. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Australia. Yes, uh, in this case, yeah, in this case, um, yeah, for example, that was good on the way. I waste it, it's a powder made from, it's a green powder made from pumpkin seeds and salt. I think it's only those two ingredients. No, I guess, I guess. Yeah, hey, that was very good, yeah. So I waste it, it's a green powder made from pumpkin seeds and salt. And in El Salvador, we put it on mangoes on fruits yes uh, in mexico called miguelito oh really it's the same uh, flavor yes. <laughs> it's the same That's flavor funny name but, for that. but the name is miguelito oh okay interesting nice so if i go to mexico i say hey give me some mangoes with miguelito yes oh interesting hey, and, I think and another pounder is really common and you can buy in the dollar store i don't remember the the name exactly, but it's uh, a little bit spicy and, and red. Oh, I don't like the powder. I don't like the white from Super Selectos. That is nasty. Mm -hmm. That is white. Tajin, no es tajin. Tajin, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. oh that's very good. Very common in Mexico. Oh, yeah, they put that on everything. But it's different than the white I, yes, it, it's I different, think. but if you buy a uh, fruit fruit in the in the street, um, they offer to you to use uh, Miguelito in in tajin. Oh, 
Tahin, yes. Mm -hmm. Dollar store sells that Tahin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, class. Um, time is over. Very good. Thank you very much. We'll continue this tomorrow in groups. Okay. Thank With you. The, thank you, teacher. Yes. Okay. Um, thank you very much for your time. Have a very, very good night, okay? Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night, everyone.